Okay, today is July 28th. This is uh, Nirvan. Um, he's been doing, we've been doing a, 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 a occasional lessons, maybe once a week, uh, because of the, co- the, the COVID. Um, we haven't had a full lessons uh, resume, uh, um, resume yet, quite yet. So, it's been a while since we've done a video summary. Today, what we worked on primarily from the very beginning, I was watching him hit from the, the before I got on the court. He was practicing with dad, hitting forehands and backhands, and his strokes looked, they, they look good, but the backhand look good. Um, the, the technique is, 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 is pretty, is pretty good. Uh, he's getting that down pretty well. So today what we focus on was power on the forehand side and on the backhand side. So we emphasize on the forehand side, backhand side, to, um, for powers to make sure that you load, feel the ground, right? So go ahead, give me a forehand side, like, right? Knees bent, knees bent, feel the ground, boom. That's it. That's beautiful. Like that, like that. He's got to be careful about how much he, how much he uh, he moves the feet forward at the same time he swings. He doesn't want to be moving his feet at the same time as he swings forward. Say on the on the backhand side, he has a tendency to go ahead and as he swings the backhand side, that left foot comes around a bit too fast, and we don't want that to, to happen. Uh, we want there to be a slight delay. But um, uh, backhand side tends to hit the ball a little bit high on his uh, uh, on his on his on his backhand when he tries to hit for power, and so he has to remember to put a little bit more weight on the uh, on the front foot. Loading, feeling the ground. I, I didn't really go deep into it. I think he understood what it meant. So, because he was bending his knees, we wanted to feel the ground so that he feels the loading on the ground. So, wants to, as if the ground is pushing up on his feet. Power is going to go, kind of come from the ground up. Uh, didn't emphasize rotation uh, too much. Uh, he, he doesn't do rotation. Didn't emphasize too much of using the big muscles. So, but um, he, he did get power increase. One of the things that he had to make sure to emphasize to him is that when you do go ahead and start to hit the ball. Harder. It's something that's different. It's something that's not you're not used to because you're comfortable hitting the ball not too hard, just nice and regular, right? Nice, regular, easy pace. When you hit the ball hard, start to hit it harder. Everything's going to seem more difficult. You're going to be making more mistakes. Your ball's going to fly. You're not going to have as much spin. You're going to feel like you're off balance. You're gonna, all this stuff is going to happen, right? It's only because you're trying to do something at a higher speed. Um, it's it's more complicated to do things faster and and just just mentally, you know, think about hitting the ball harder. Um, one of the things you have to remember that go ahead shadow forehand like you're hitting it hard All right here he goes he's like oh boom I hit the ball hard and now what I want to, what he needs to do is he resets and start to think about I need um, next ball is going to be hard next ball is going to be hard next going to be hard boom usually he relaxes right here too much and then boom right and he doesn't have that aggressive he, he, he drops down his intensity boom so on the resets he has to start thinking about the next ball hitting hard especially when you're drilling so that you practice it Okay, we also talked about hitting as many balls as possible when he goes out and hits with his dad at a higher speed, higher intensity level. The more balls that he can hit during one session with his dad um, at a higher at higher intensity, like the intensity he shows here at, at practice a lot of times, then that's going to be, you know, maybe twice as many balls that he's going to hit with dad. When dad takes him out, that's twice as fast as he's going to be able to learn something uh, just because of the, the higher number of balls he hits. Um, Backhand side, the, the power level is not as, as high on the backhand side, but it's not. It's 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 actually was I was uh, impressed with it. Um, no, nothing really on the on as far as spin goes. It looks like the spin is still there. As he hits harder, he may start to lose a little bit of spin. So we just have to keep an eyeball on that. Um, went ahead and did some volleys today as well because now that he's going to start to hit the ball harder and be more aggressive, right? He's definitely going to end up at the net more because he's going to be he's going to be he's going to be just naturally coming in just because he's going to push your player off the court, right? He's going to come in and close the point. So show me forehand. We focus on forehand volleys and backhand volleys. Um, just at the net, short net feeding. Don't swing forehand side. Don't take it back. All right, just 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 like that. Right? We're, we're thinking about more of a tight grip. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and, and go into the the volley contact position. All right. So here. So here. We talked about his hand being behind the shoulder here a little bit and this is all very fairly loose and, and not taking it back and, and chopping it like that he has a tendency to chop backhand side go ahead show me a backhand and we only hit a few backhand but the backhand the way he's doing it right now nice i like the way he's doing it i like the way that uh Hennenberg has been sh- has been showing you how if that's who, if that's who's showing you how to do it He also liked it, so he hasn't changed it much. Okay, well, I, I like the way you're doing you're doing it too. As we start to go in more in detail into into working on it, we may just we may not have to do very much for now, right? Unless you start to mess up what you got. Okay, so on the, we also did some serve, and on the serve, we'll go ahead, show me the serve motion. Yep, and we're practicing like we're serve that direction. Okay, so the main thing on the serve motion that sent the seam that he lost with the circle back here, that circle back there, it, he was doing it a lot stiffer. So we went ahead and I thought it was going to be a problem to get it, for him to get it back. 
Um, I went ahead and, uh, and, and, and let him shadow a bunch and focusing on the circle, just making sure he focused on the circle part. Because it looked like he was focusing on the, that part and then the top part. He wasn't focusing on the circle and that's why it just kind of, it, it just, uh, it just was not there. So he got it quickly back. Um, his toss was a little bit awkward, but it looks like he can get that back pretty good too. Um, toss is a little bit low for, for what he was doing today, but I think the, the adjustment is, 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 is not going to be too difficult for him. You can go ahead and go practice serve. You can do it from abbreviated motion, start at the trophy position, show me. When you do your serve motion, start there and then do the toss. Then do the toss. Start, no, start at the trophy. All right, now do your toss. Boom, and then the circle, right? You want to go up. Okay? Alright. And that's about it. Anything else? Mm, no. No? Okay. That's it. Alright. Good job. We'll see you next time.